The nuclear forces are mediated by quarks and gluons, subatomic particles that we physicists have to memorize. But how many subatomic particles are there? Hundreds, perhaps thousands of subatomic particles with bizarre Greek-sounding names. In the 1950s, J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, was so frustrated that we began to find all these, this zoo of subatomic particles, that he made the announcement, and that is, the Nobel Prize should go to the physicist who does not discover a new particle this year. Well, today, to get your PhD, you have to memorize the names of all these goddamn subatomic particles. That's what I had to do. But I would hope that in the future, young students in theoretical physics, instead of memorizing all these Greek-sounding names, would simply say, string theory, and they would get their PhD.